free wanting to be independent, not wanting to be in a part of an organization. So that's what you find. So which one is more religious? Well, I, mean, I don't know if that's what it is, though. I think I think that folks that are lean more towards Democrat are more about groups. You've, there's a term called identity mm-hmm. politics, which mm-hmm. can be done on both sides. But I think you see that more on the left. And it's funny that uh, Lee just a while ago mentioned how he's more in the middle. I think what we've seen in the past few decades is that the Democrats or the left have become so far left mm. that if it were mm-hmm. a, a line and you were in the middle, since they extended the line more to the left, now it looks like you're right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> so you're not even so much in the middle anymore. And I think, as you guys were saying, um, a lot of younger people start out as Democrats, even myself. Um, I Not that I have ever registered with it, either party or anything like that, but I thought of myself aligning more closely. So you're not with, registered to vote? I said registered with the party. Yeah, Richard, you got to be. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Sorry. Uh, I guess we know who don't know how to vote. <laughs> 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 no, but I'm saying um, people generally kind of have those ideas when they're younger, and as they get older, they become more conservative, which I find happening to myself as well. Seeing the state of politics in the United States at this time, I find that I align a little bit more closely with the conservative yeah. values, at least the ones that they espouse, mm-hmm. right? Now, I think I think the thing that we see is not always do the people in power put those things into practice the way they should. But as far as what they state that they believe in, those things look a little bit closer to me as far as what I agree with. Facts. And I think um, even to that point, too, because I don't I don't fully believe in socialism. Like, I don't think that uh, like everyone like the playing field should just be leveled for everyone like i mean everyone should have the same opportunities but i don't think like we should level it to make everyone like equal because you know if you out here and you busting you behind and you making things happen and you and you growing equity and assets and you know value for yourself and your family then i think there should be rewards for that because you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're pushing the envelope forward you don't want to help the non-fortunate I mean, no, it, it, you you bring up a good point because that's actually one of the same principles that like as I got older and I understood a little bit more how money works, a little bit more how how finance stuff works. I came to realize like you know these people that sometimes they get these handouts and they get them they get them handed out, which is a lot of times mostly supported by the Democratic Party. You know, you get these hands up and it enables them to stay hand to stay getting handouts. It enables them to stay that way. And it's actually a detriment instead of a benefit. And so you think of it that way and then you you see you see a little bit more of what Republicans may call trickle down economics or um, something like that in, in in terms of that may work in 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 a better sense than handing handing things out. But what does the Bible say? That's what I wanted to get to. Well, not to answer a question with a question, but what do y'all think like Jesus meant when he said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's? Well, that's good because I'm sure that was going to come up, right? I had that down as well. And I think the the thing is, first of all, the folks who asked the question to Jesus were spies, right? Mm-hmm. From from the, the uh, priests and the scribes from the Jewish uh, nation there, and they were trying to trick him. And so they said, should we pay taxes to Caesar? And of course, Jesus is not going to be caught slipping at all. So he he gave them that answer. Can't catch me. And and then they were they were dumbfounded. They didn't know what else to say. Mm-hmm. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and unto God what is God's. And <clears throat> the main thing I think that we have to take from that is when we live in this life, we're going to be living under some type of government, unless you're in some kind of anarchist nation yeah, some, living some in the forest nation. somewhere yeah you know what i'm saying there's gonna be some form of government and while we're underneath that rule we need to abide by what the land of the law is so long as that law doesn't transgress god's law because ultimately we answer to him from from a finality standpoint he is the one we have to reconcile our souls with ultimately so if there's a a, a discrepancy between what the land of the law is telling you versus what God is telling you, we need to do what, what God says. But again, they're, they're put up on, on purpose. There's a scripture that says God sets up and takes down uh, nations and governments for his purposes. Mm-hmm. So when they're there, you know, you hear about pray for your leaders and things, and we should. 
You know, when Trump is in office, Biden's in office, whoever it is, if you didn't vote for him, pray for him because you want good things to come from them as much as possible. So when you say laws, do you guys believe in a death penalty? (laughs) Well, (laughs) I I, I was I I actually just wanted to kind of touch on what what DTH was saying. Um as far as with the the laws is is okay. I I'll, I'll answer Mike's question. Do I believe in a death penalty? No, I I, I don't think anybody should be put put to death. Um, I, I'm sure if you ask me that, if somebody was to take away somebody I love, it'd be harder to say that. But but personally, I think it, it's being put to death is 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 kind of a cop out. I much rather you just rot in jail. Where, you know, all the time that you have left, you just rot in jail for whatever you did, you know. Um, but but to touch on what DCH was saying as far as abiding by the government of God, I think that makes it a little difficult when you have, I guess, the left wing and the right wing that has their different viewpoints on what they believe in as a child of God, as a, as a believer in God. Do you even vote? <laughs> do you do you even participate in that? Because it's it's tough. Because although we are members of the kingdom of God, we are also members of America, right? So it, it it makes voting will kind of will help. Obviously, voting makes sense, right? You you want to vote to try to make your your life here on earth better. Yeah. But where do you go as far as what is a child of God? Yeah, well, no. That's, a, that's what I was asking. Sorry, real quick. Is it, if you believe in the death plan, because when you're voting, you're either voting for people who, yeah, abortion, or you're voting for the death penalty. No, you bring up a good point because, like I said, there's good things and bad things about both. So, like you said, if we if you're voting, at some point you're going to choose something that's bad. You know what I'm saying? Because it's somehow it's it's what people describe sometimes choosing the lesser of two evils, mm-hmm. whatever. So that's, that's that's a lot of the. That's what a lot of the voting approach is from a lot of people nowadays, especially here in America, because they don't see good things in either party. So they just choose which one is going to hurt them less. But, you know, as a child of God, is, is that even a way to go? Like, you know, you know, this person, you know, this entity doesn't have good things in their heart, but then you're going to put them into power. You're going to put them into um, um, a, a position of authority, as we talk about. Um, and it goes back to the scriptures. They're not aligning with things of God. It, it makes it hard. It makes it difficult. I'm not saying don't vote. I'm not advocating not voting please don't get me wrong but what i'm saying is it just makes it hard really yeah. difficult and and i think what we see too is like the absence of people exercising the right to vote has caused like a lot of things that we didn't want to become law or you know rule in our country in our neighborhoods or what have you to become that because people didn't go out to vote so i think like as as christians and as believers we should be trying to affect the system based on our beliefs with the power of our vote. Um, And, you know, to be responsible enough to do the homework on the candidates that we're voting for. And in some cases, like y'all said, it might be the difference between Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis or something. And it's like, Lord have mercy, which way do we go? But it's like, you know, for Obama. Yeah. But I mean, but for the sake of, for the sake of your children, like, you know, the, the church, the community and stuff, like we have to try to, uh, uh, inject our beliefs or what we, you know, who we are as people within that political system too, as well. Yeah, and something we, we talked a little bit about uh, the scripture where Jesus said, "Render unto Caesar what is Caesar; render unto God what is God's." I want to come back to that because one of the things I wanted to talk about was whether or not Jesus was involved in politics, because as Christians, he is our leader he is the one we're looking to for examples more than any more so than anyone else and people may say that jesus was not political and i agree but it doesn't mean he didn't have some involvement and so as i was looking into it a little bit when he said that he was obviously giving credence to god right that's the most important thing but Again, the spies, when they came to him, they were trying to trap him so that he could be arrested and sent, or the the news of what he said, right, which would go to the Roman governor, and then he would get arrested. Because by saying, if he he were to say, don't pay taxes, then that's going to be a crime against the government. But the thing is, what was Christ's main message on earth? (laughs) 
Repent. The kingdom mm -hmm. of heaven is at hand. Kingdom right. of God is at hand. Now, 